Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the most overlooked way of going from say two, three, four, five thousand dollars per month on Amazon to 10, 12, 15 thousand dollars per month on Amazon. All right, so if you're in that range, right? Maybe you started selling, maybe you haven't started selling yet, but you have a product coming in or you're working on something, right? This is a video, this is a video for you guys. I wish someone had taught me this. So I'm gonna teach you it here today. When when I first started, if someone told me this, I'd be a lot farther than where I am. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, be sure to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, so we're gonna start on Alibaba here, right? We're gonna move over into my computer. We're gonna land on Alibaba. And there's a reason for that, because this video is about leveraging the data and the products your supplier already has. So I'm in very good relationships with my suppliers, right? I trust them, they trust me. Um, you know, they start producing things and me even having to pay for them. They hold on to things, they ship it um, early. All of these things are the outcome of, you know, being an effective communicator um, and doing business with these companies. And now one strategy that has just really started taking place in my business over the last three months is I'm looking at what's effectively working in my marketplace. And then I'm heading over to my supplier and I'm seeing if they have anything similar, right? So this is a perfect example. Now this could be any product. So say you're selling like one variation of this, right? Um, so here's my product and then here's a competitor. Here's a really strong competitor. Here's another good competitor. What I'm gonna do, right? My, my supplier already works in this space. And now it's important to know that suppliers will generally work within like a material type or a niche, right? So if you have a silicone spatula, that supplier probably has everything under the sun that's silicone and kitchenware. If you have a macrame shelf supplier, they probably have many different kinds of macrame shelves or the capability of building many different kinds of macrame shelves because that's what they built. Okay. So it only makes sense that they'll have more of them. So instead of like starting from scratch, it's, I think it's human nature to achieve something and then go, okay, what did I do to achieve that? Let's do everything the same. So you literally go back to step one again, you go back to product research, um, you go back to finding new suppliers, you go send out your templates. It's like, no, 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 just, just stop with that. Take a second and look at your market, right? If we were to pull up, um, say jungle scout here and pull up jungle scout in a while pull up Jungle Scout here and we look, who's like doing f fantastic, right? Okay, so let's see. So we have someone right here, this is a great example, they're doing 11,000 per month with just 39 reviews. Um, that's my listing. And then we have someone doing $22,000 per month with 600 reviews. They're not really in our niche though, so we're not gonna really count that one. Um, let's see. So we're really just looking for people who are standing out as sellers who are doing really well. Here's another one, 11,000, 11.5 per month with hundred reviews, a horrible listing, right? Those are all really good examples actually. Um, here's another one, yeah, just five, 5k, 13 reviews. They're, they're doing okay. Um, another one, four or five, five, five. All right. So you get the point, right? All of these sellers see success. Now, were we to add those up, you know, uh, Here's not 22,000, it's 127, 22,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 13,000, 6,000, uh, 10,000, 11,000, 11,000. If we added all of those, we would have 50 plus K in revenue, 60, 70 K in revenue. Why are you okay with only taking the portion you're taking? <laughs> Let's go take more of that. And to do that, you don't even have to start from scratch again. Just simply ask your supplier what other products they have in this space. Now this seems like such common sense, but common sense only seems common once you understand it. So if you have a, a product that you're selling or you're looking into selling and the product does well, your first product, ask your supplier, hey, is there anything similar to this that you sell a lot of? Because guess what? If the supplier is getting a lot of orders for it, it means that distributors or sellers like ourselves are ordering a lot of them, which means that we're selling a lot of them. And let's just say that like this was your supplier or this was your supplier, any one of these. And you were already selling, you know, that looks similar, right? That was exactly what was selling really well on page one. They're doing like 11,000 on that one. Um, here's another one that looks very similar. I right, say you were sourcing any one of these and they were doing well, right? Well, the logical next step would be to go to any one of these suppliers. Like here's one that I haven't really even seen on Amazon and ask them, hey, do you have anything else that you think would sell well on Amazon? Or 
what I like to do, you know, that's, that's one approach you can ask them is I like to just go right to their store, search the general niche that we're in. This will be more relatable and look at the products that they have, right? Maybe macrame pillows are killer. Um, we come in here, there's a, there's a ton of different options. So then maybe you would narrow it down. You know, this supplier, this is what I was saying, right? They build within a niche. So they're, they're making all products that have this material. So maybe we come over here. Here's a perfect example. Okay. They have all these macrame things. We go macrame shelf. Um, for some reason, they haven't grouped anything into that. I know they have products because we saw one, so we'll just search it. Um, so I have these two options. So maybe you're selling this, try and sell that one, okay? I just wanna get you to start looking at Amazon a little bit differently. Don't do what everyone does and go back to ground zero after you have a successful launch. Use your supplier as leverage and go sell products that they already sell and create. That's the logical next step, right? Because if they, if they produced one thing that you changed very little listed and it worked, go introduce the smaller version of that, the bigger version of that, um, the two pack version of that, okay? So go use your supplier to find more product ideas. That's really what this video is about, right? So maybe instead of having, you know, to touch on the title of the video, maybe instead of having just one $5,000 product, you introduce one new ace into the market from your supplier, that's how you found it. They already know you, you already know them, you place the order, no problem, they produce it, you make the custom packaging for it, you list it with a high quality listing, and that does well, maybe now you have that one to six, so you're at 11, right? And then maybe you go one more and that one does four, and there's a little less than both of those combined. Still you're at 15, right? So that's the way that I'm starting to scale my Amazon business, just working with just a few suppliers I already work with, just introducing new items into the market. So hopefully that was something that you haven't really thought about before, or if you thought about it, we brought it back to the surface here today in this video. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you here on the channel next time for another video. Later.